hello everyone welcome again to my youtube channel my name is precious right so um in our previous video we looked at the concept of uh, standard forms we saw what a standard form is how to express numbers in standard forms right and then um, here we want to see uh, the basic operations on numbers in standard forms basic operations such as multiplication and division we will also see addition and subtraction and then we will also see a mixture of these uh, basic operations but even before that uh, let me just show one example of if you are given a number in standard form how do you change it to a number in maybe decimal form for instance, we have something like uh, 3 times 10 raised to the power minus 4. Okay, and I want to express it in decimal form. So all I need to do is to bring my 3 this way. Now, remember I said that there is always a decimal point in front this way. And so you are just going to, because this is negative, for you to get this negative, you moved forward. You remember what I said here? You move forward this way. To be able to get minus and so to get back what gave you this minus you will need to move backwards so i'm going to move backwards a number of times here so i will move let me use this so i'm going to move one two three four so this is now the position of my decimal point now and so what do i do the empty spaces you fill them with zeros and so you are going to actually have point zero 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 three and then you close here with zero. So this is actually the value of this in decimal. And that's how to do all of that. And now when it comes to basic operations, which is what we want to look at here, if it is multiplication and division, all you are expected to do is uh, to multiply the, the whole number part. That's the A part. You remember every standard form is there. Uh, every number in standard form is of this form. So you multiply the A part if it is multiplication and then you divide, uh, you multiply the, the, the index part. Now, what is going to guide you for the multiplication of the index part is what we have done in indices, where we said that if I have 10 raised to the power of A multiplied by 10 raised to the power of B, it is simply equal to the, you choose one of the bases and then you sum the powers. You can see this in the topic on indices. And then when you have division, 10 raised to the power A divided by 10 raised to the power B. Since the bases are the same, that's why we are doing this. So this is the same thing as A minus B. Simply, this is what is going to guide us in every of the multiplication and division that we are going to do on numbers in standard forms. Okay, so let's quickly look at some examples we have here. Now, this one here says that we should evaluate all of this you know uh, what are you going to have here so like i said the a part of this is 6.5 and the a part of this is 3.5 all i should do here is open a bracket that will help me multiply 6.5 by 3.5 and then i will now open another bracket that will now multiply 10 to power 6 by 10 to power minus 5 right so and that is going to give us that this is equal to so when i multiply my 6.3 by 3.5 sorry 6.5 by 3.5 that is going to give me 22.75 so see what we have here 22.75 times 10 and so here you are going to have 6 plus uh, minus 11 sorry minus 5 and of course, you know, plus minus, let's quickly state that, that if I have plus times minus, that is equal to minus. If I have plus times, sorry, plus, yes, is equal to plus. Even if I turn it the other way around, if I have minus times plus is still minus. And if I have minus times minus, it is plus. So whenever opposite signs multiply, they give you plus. And whenever... Sorry, whenever opposite signs multiply, they give you minus. And whenever like signs, that's plus, plus, minus, minus, they give you plus. Okay, so just take note of this number. See what we are going to have here now. If I have a 6 plus minus 5, of course, this is going to become plus times there, 
minus, which is the minus. So you have six minus five and six minus five is equal to one. But is that our final answer? No. Why? Because this is not in standard form. And they said we should leave our answers in standard form. So what are we going to do? You reduce this to be a number that is less than 10, but greater than zero. So what do I do? I'll bring this decimal point to this place. And because I have moved the decimal point once, I will now have 275. And remember, you moved it backwards. And I said, when you move it backwards, you will increase your power of 10 by the number of movement. And since we move just one, so we add one to this one, and that will give us two, which is our solution here. Okay, so to the second example. Okay, so for our second example, we are going to have that we are multiplying this. So we'll simply multiply 5.5 by 3.4. So, which is going to give us 18.7. And that is times, in this case, you are now going to have minus 4 plus 7. That's multiplying these two. And of course, this is going to give us uh, 18.7 times 10 raised to power. This is equal to positive 3. And that is not the end. So, we take this to the form of A that we are looking for by bringing this decimal point to this place. And when that happens, we'll have 1.87 times 10. Because we move backwards, we are going to now add 1 to this power. And that will give us power 4. We'll do the same thing for division. Now, this is division. The only difference now is that you are dividing. So I'm going to have 7.5 divided by 2.5. That's the A part. We divide A part. And then the multiplication will now be here then you will now divide the powers by themselves. So you have 10 raised to power 8 divided by 10 raised to power 4. So what is this going to do for us? If you divide 7.5 by 2.5, you will get 3. And that is times 10 raised to power. Remember that division is the same thing as subtraction. So you have 8 minus 4. And so your answer here is simply equal to 3 times 10 raised to power 4. Of course, this one satisfies the form. There is no need to move anywhere. And that's our solution. And then for here, we are going to have 3 divided by 6. I can actually write it that way. Multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 4 divided by 10 raised to the power of 4, which is minus 4. And that is going to give me this over this is equal to 0 0.5. And that is times 10 raised to the power of 0. Number watch. It has to be, you know, greater than or equal to 1. And then, uh, of course, it has to be less than 10. So we move this to the, the front. So when we move this to the front here, we are going to have 5 times 10. Now, because we moved it to the front, you are going to subtract. You are going to reduce the power by 1. So we are going to have 0 minus 1. And that is going to give us 5 times 10 raised to the power of uh, minus 1. And that is the standard form that is required of us. And then we go to the next one. So the next example says that we should simplify this and leave our answer in standard form. The same thing, we're going to have 1.05 divided by 2.5. And then times here, we now have 10 raised to the power of 7 sorry, divided by 10 raised to the power of 3. And so what is going to happen here? If 1.05 divides is divided by 2.5, sorry, you are going to have 0 0.42, and that is equal, sorry, multiplied by 10 raised to the power 7 minus 3. So you now, in other, please note that all of these that we have been doing, is trying to put this one in standard form. That's how we got here. We try to put this in standard form. We got here. We try this one is already in standard form. We try to put this in standard form. So uh, it's not as if we can leave it this way, but they say we should leave our solution in standard form, and that's why we are doing this. So we'll do the same thing here to put this in standard form. You will move forward, and when you move forward, you have 4.2. Now remember, we have moved forward. And so, and we have 4 here, 
Now, because we moved forward, we will subtract the number of times we moved. But here we moved just once, and so we subtract one. And therefore, our answer is 4.2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. And that's our solution. And then this is for multiplication and for division of numbers in standard form. And so in our next video, we'll look at addition and subtraction. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done so. Like and share our videos. We'll see you in the next content. Bye.